Hello and welcome back to another video. So something a little bit different today. I'm on a bus, but this just isn't any bus. This is a bus with no wing mirrors. The Volvo B8R is a 240 brake horsepower single deck bus powered by a Volvo D8K engine coupled to a ZF Ecolife automatic gearbox. This bus has a 20 foot wheelbase, it is 39 foot in length, a height of 9 foot and a width of 8 foot. This bus has MCV Avora bodywork with a stainless steel frame. And today I'm in Bootle and this is where these buses have been rolled out, the Arriva bus garage in Hawthorne Road to be exact, and these buses are the first of its kind in the Merseyside area. Now, when I say this bus has no wing mirrors, there are cameras where the mirror should be. Two monitors inside the cab offer the driver a normal view in the top half and a wide angle view in the lower half. This added peripheral view allows drivers to spot potential hazards such as bikes coming down the side of the vehicle much easier. Also, they reduce the risk of passenger strikes when pulling into bus stops and in general improve overall safety and cost of replacement mirrors in the long run. There is also no risk of the cameras being affected by frost or ice as they've got their own heating mechanisms inside. When I came up with this video idea I wanted it to be a driver POV now it means using one of these now this is pretty much like a GoPro it's a DJI Osmo and it's basically on a head strap so a full risk assessment has been carried out on this and basically it's going to be on my head while I'm driving giving you a view of what the driver would see if you're using a bus of this kind also I do own a PSV license and have done for the last 20 years and I also work for Arriva so this bus is from Bootle Arriva Garage in Hawthorne Road I am currently at the copy lane turnaround I'm going to be taking this bus from here down Dunwich Bridge Road and I'm going to take it onto the Dock Road along Regent Road and then up into Liverpool One bus station so along the way we're going to pick up sites like the New Everton Stadium and just sort of like basically just regeneration of the, the Dock Road area in general when we get to Liverpool One we'll make a quick stop and then we'll make our return journey back to Bootle Garage so other cameras I'll be using today is one of these this is an Insta360 now this is going to be attached via a clamp just by the door and it's going to give you a 360 view as I'm driving so it's going to be like picking up the whole entire bus another camera I've got is another one of these but this is stuck to the back window via a suction mount and that's basically just going to give you like a, a look down the bus as uh, as we're driving just for some extra footage so before our journey what I'll do I'll press record on the two cameras that are inside the bus I'll get off the bus and I'll press record on the head cam and not one point in the journey am I going to touch any of the cameras including the head cam when I get to Liverpool 1, when it's safe to do so, I'm going to switch my head camera off outside the bus and switch the cameras off. Also, I'd like to point out, just before our journey, I have carried out a full first use check on this vehicle and I've found no defects. I have also had full VF on this vehicle with a garage trainer from Bootle Garage. VF meaning vehicle familiarisation. I took it out for about 40 minutes the other day just to get used to the, to the bus and stuff like that in general and just showing the controls and stuff like that just prior to me taking it out today really right okay so a quick look around the vehicle before we make our way into liverpool city center it's the name on the front evora by volvo 72 plate check one out of service and there's one of the cameras there inside so down the side of the bus your typical Arriva branding there's a back camera there CCTV around the back see so these two cameras are just for yeah, accidents and stuff like that. Right, we've got a B8R engine, Euro 6. Let's have a look under the hood. Little look around the engine bay. There's 
so your coolant goes emergency engine stop coolant check we're okay fuel and blue emergency exit is in the middle of the bus and there's your other camera let's get a zoom in shot of that and that really is all you need to know about the exterior so we go inside and have a look what's inside right we'll come back to the cab area in a minute here's all my equipment Not much to see inside, just your general sort of bus setup really. Seats, nice brand new smell to it as well. And a nice clean bus. Right, so cab door open and I'll just lean in because I'm not going to get behind the wheel with my phone. But there's your near side camera. And as you can see, this is your normal view as such. And this is your wider angle view as well on the bottom. And then there's your other one on that side. Same setup, non adjustable mirrors, although you can adjust, I think. Can you adjust? No, you can't adjust them, they're fixed. Yeah, sorry, I do apologize, they're fixed in place. And your normal Volvo cab setup. Purely for the enthusiasts, this. There's your controls as well at the back. What a sheet on what to do in emergency and stuff like that. CCTV, well, the monitor. And your radio. And that, my friends, is it. Now, just before we enter the bus, at this point when I'm driving, I will not be talking. I don't want to give the illusion that I'm sort of talking on the mobile hands free. So, all commentary will be probably voiced via a voiceover. So, just before we begin our journey, there's one camera, and this is the back camera. This back one is mainly just for extra footage and stuff like that. So we're going to start rolling this one now. So this is the Insta360. Just close these doors. Make sure that is lined up. Turn it on. Just for the record as well, I've got some extra sort of a uh, thing at the back so I don't, you know, scratch the, uh, scratch the post. So I'm going to record on that. Welcome to Arena. Okay, so as we begin our journey, we're going to head down to Copy Lane Police Station, where we're then going to turn right onto Dunningsbridge Road. We're going to head straight down to the roundabout onto the A565, where we're then going to turn right at Miller's Bridge and go down onto Regent Road. Okay, so just a quick look in the cab area, and as you can see, the two monitors right ahead are your wing mirrors. This is the view that a driver does see on a daily basis when driving a vehicle of this type. And as you can see, you've still got quite a lot of view of the road. Nothing's restricted in my opinion.
Right, so we're just approaching the new Everton Stadium at Bramley Mall Dock and as you can see construction work has really took hold now. It is beginning to look like a stadium, if that makes sense. It was just sort of like all brickwork and ironwork a few months ago, but now it's looking like a stadium. So as we continue our journey along Regent Road, we're now going to be coming up to the old tobacco warehouse and also South Warehouse and North Warehouse, which used to be warehouses. One's now the Titanic Hotel, one's still in a derelict state. And I do believe that the old massive tobacco warehouse is now apartments. That I think is still under construction. To your right, you're going to see quite a lot of development going on because when the stadium opens, this stadium is generating a lot of re regeneration in this area in general and the whole area which no one bothered about about 15 years ago it was completely utterly dead this area now it's all sort of springing back to life and you know it's all due to this stadium i think we're gonna head down past vulcan studios that used to be an old cotton warehouse i have done a video on that uh, which i'll link in the description by all means go and check that out then we're gonna make our way up to costco we're gonna swing our left then a right onto the strand and proceed onto liverpool one bus station
Just coming back into Beautiful Garage now, and I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank Andy, Sheldon, Rob, Matt, Eric, Arriva Northwest, and Beautiful Garage for making this video possible. So the bus in general was an absolute pleasure to drive. It feels a bit weird at first, and you know, we're all sorts of so used to looking outside the bus for the mirrors and stuff like that. At the minute, Beetle Garage is the only garage with these buses in Merseyside. The fleet of nine of them. Uh, they may make their way up to Liverpool at some certain point in other garages, I don't know. But at the moment, they're only sort of based in Hawthorne Road Garage. So is this the future of our vehicles from now on? I know HGVs have got them on and I think some cars have got them on. But, you know, maybe in the next 10 years, probably every vehicle will have all these sort of digital mirrors on. But who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.